Good morning, guys. It's a little special washing here. Me and Sadie about to start our day. So at the first job, we got an estimate. We're going to be giving an estimate on this rental house. So we're going to walk around and we're going to see how bad it is. Customer called, says he wants your house washed. Um, we're going to look at the roof. We're going to see if we can package this up nice for her. Uh, right away, I see some steps that are needing to be washed. Um, I was going to make sure you cover your cameras up. This is the north side is this way. This is somewhat like, somewhat like the northwest side of the house. See a lot of mold and algae right there. We can include the fence if we want to do that. Let's see if the back is open. It should be. I told her we were coming over here. So, okay, so we have a back porch back here. We could include the back porch. This is kind of an older back porch. We may stay away from this. Let me see. Yeah, we'll probably stay away from this back porch. It's really old, so. But you can include that in your packaging. So, right here, this is gonna be need to be washed. This is actually the north facing side of the house. So, and right here, the doors, they have algae growing on them. So the house is on the cinder block frame. So that's gonna need wash down there. Let me shut this back. We, we can probably just, we will include knocking off the green off this fence with a light, just a light mist of 1%, maybe 2%, mostly the block and the algae around here, the steps and up top, multiple cameras. We wanna make sure we cover those up. So we have a lot of algae around the front, the porch. See, we will include the driveway. I mean, the walkway in this we will include this. Even though the walkway is broken, it's nothing to hit it with a good, a strong mix on this. I'm going to go three or four percent on this. Your steps and your porch. We're going to hit up here. She's getting ready to rent out. So basically the siding and the cinder block is going to be needing it. You want to be real easy around these windows that are old paint like this. You don't want to do any damage. You want to take before pictures and after pictures always to protect yourself. And if the homeowner has any questions, you can have them to reference back at. We'll hit this with a 1%, maybe one and a half, two percent 2%. So this is the first stop of the day. We're going to get this estimate out and get to our second estimate. And once we get our estimates done, then we'll start on the jobs we have for the day. So this is stop one of the day. And, uh, like I said, we will throw in the house, a little bit of the fence on both sides, the porch, the steps, the walkway, and we'll probably stay away from the driveway. We can throw it in just in case, but we'll, we'll more than likely, they, they probably won't pull the trigger on that, but who knows, right? I'll let you know if they do, but let's get to the next stop. All right, guys, we're here at the second estimate of the day. We're gonna be giving a quote on the driveway. We're gonna do the driveway, and we're gonna do the house. I put the ridge line up there, all the way down. We're gonna get that treated. We're gonna soft wash it. We're gonna remove all of the pine needles and algae from up there. And we're gonna do the house, the roof, the driveway, the walkway, and all the way around in here this driveway all the way to the road out there and then the walkway here the gutters up there the roof the house we we'll come back here we're gonna do the walkway we're gonna hit this fence get everything off of the fence we're gonna hit down in here hit these stones I'll be very careful not to get any chemical on any vegetation we're going to do the pool we're going to do that section of the fence two sections there the customer is going to replace that we're going to do the gust the gutters the roof all the fascias brick the roofs that one that one in right here we're going to come over here we're going to hit this fence right here and right here the rest of it we're not gonna to touch. So 
the pool area, the two fences, sections of the fence, the roof. We're gonna clean the gutters out as well. We're gonna clean the gutters out and then soft wash the roof, soft wash the gutters, work our way down through the brick, hit the pool, hit the sidewalks out to the road. So we're gonna get this quote ready for the customer. He's ready to go when we are. There's two other quotes We're the third one. So we'll see, I'm gonna show you the front of the house, the front. We can get that looking really nice with some surfactant and SH 12.5. We're gonna hit the pine needles, the gutters. We're gonna hit all of that, hit around the windows. See the windows right there? You don't wanna leave out any details. You wanna make sure you get it all. We'll even hit underneath. We're gonna hit the steps, the steps, the porch area. We're gonna hit underneath there. Really lightly, don't use a lot of pressure. We're gonna hit all of this. We're gonna first clean all the gutters out. Then the customer, we're gonna help them out by treating the roof. They have this treatment they bought. We're gonna go and spray that for them once we clean it up there. May come back once the roof's done and spray that treatment for them. So we're gonna include that in the package as well. This is this side of it, that fence. So, we're gonna get them a quote wrapped up nice and sent to them and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we just heard back from the first uh, client of the day, the quote, she approved it. We're gonna be doing that little small house for 350. Um, we're gonna do just the front porch in the house. That's it, 350. So that's in the books. We're gonna tackle that tomorrow morning, first thing. And now we're on the way to do our third quote of the day. We're doing a dealership. And uh, we just left the second quote. It's a huge house, huge property, a full package deal. We're doing the roof, we're doing the house, we're doing the pool area, the driveway, sidewalks everything we ain't leaving nothing on the table they want everything done so we're going to get that quote sent to them tonight and we're on our way to the third quote right now and then we're on our way to the first job of the day so let's go this should be illegal man all right guys we secured the first quote of the day they emailed me back we sent the quote over they approved it um we're only going to do the house and the little small front porch uh quick uh probably one hour job at the most 350. uh we got the second quote we're about to send over now for the big property the roof wash the house wash the driveway the pool i mean everything gutters clean we're going uh putting that package up and send that over and now we're on the way for our third quote which is going to be a dealership we're going to do the front of a gmc chevrolet dealership and then after that we're going to get started on our first job of the day we got several jobs to do today so um three quotes we're going to try to do two or three jobs it's going to be a full day so but right now it's a lunch break so me and sadie we gonna eat some McDonald's. So stay tuned guys, and we'll get to the quote right after we eat lunch. All right guys, we've eaten lunch and we've submitted the second quote back to the customer for the big property that's in the country club. We're gonna wait and hear back from them. That is a really big job, um, huge job. So we'll, there's us and two other companies supposedly bidding for it. So we'll see where we come in. We did offer a discount since it's a lot of work. Uh, so we'll keep you posted on that. The first job we're scheduled to do knock out in the morning. And now we're at the dealership, the Chevrolet dealership, where we're gonna go bid on washing the front of the store. And then we'll get to our first job of the day. So let's go. All right, guys, we're at the dealership. It's a Chevrolet dealership. We're gonna wash the front and the sides of it. And I recommended doing the walkways as well, the sidewalk. So we're gonna knock that out. It is on the book scheduled for tomorrow night. So that's two down and uh two bids and two quotes approved we're gonna knock this one out and uh then we're gonna get to we're waiting to hear back from the third quote we just submitted that big property and now we're gonna get to our first job of the day so three quotes two approved one pending and now to the first job so see you at the first job hey guys we just got over here to the first city where the first job is located in 
and we're going to stop by Harbor Freight, my favorite place to get gloves. They have some really good deals. I'll show you real quick. Take you with me. I'll show you what I got from here. So, a lot of tools, good deals on here. Let me show you the best gloves, in my opinion, for the best price. They got a different thickness. Wish we had a northern tool, but we don't have one close to here. Five milliliter, seven mil, and I think that's all we need from here. We're going to get to the job, so I'll see y'all over there. All right, guys, we're at our first job of the day. We got the three quotes out, two approved and on the books, waiting here back for the third one. We're at Shell. We're going to be washing this very, 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 very extremely dirty dumpster right here. As you can see right here, this has been destroyed, rode hard, and put up wet. So we're going to take and get our gloves on. We're going to pull all this trash out back here. We're going to get behind the dumpster really good. We're going to pre-treat it. Then we're going to surface clean it. And then we're going to come back and post-treat it. So without further ado, let's get it. Yeah. Another part of the job we're going to be doing on this particular location is we're going to be cleaning the grease up as well. The grease box is located around back. So we're going to do the dumpster in the front. We're going to walk around the back of the store. We're going to take a look at the grease. And then we'll pull around to the back and we'll wash this grease. We'll let the managers and the employees know to move the vehicles. But you see how dirty this is? This isn't ours, or actually this one's ours and that one's actually Hardy. So this one's ours. So we're gonna be getting all this mess up and all this cleaned up. And what I always do when I come to this location and all of them actually, is I hit the back door, even though it's not on my list of things to do today. I'll hit the back door and I'll straighten up the pallets and everything. Because you want it to look good. You want to go that extra mile. And look at this. Look at this. We may try to hit that. I don't know. This actually is, this is actually like putty or something on here with grease that's splattered. But when you try to wash, it actually takes the paint off. This is like a, like a putty with a lot of grease splatter on it. I don't even know how that got up on that wall. But nonetheless, we're going to get cranking. Let's get the water hooked up. We're going to get the dumpster done. Then we'll pull around back and we'll get the grease done. Then we'll be off to the next location. Let's go. And guys, these gloves are super thick. They're the Hardy brand, seven milliliter. Um, they do the job amazingly. One more thing on that dealership job we're doing uh, tomorrow night as well. We're going to have them move all the cars up from the front. I have a um, boom truck being dropped off there, a bucket truck. I'm going to be using so I'm gonna be able to get up in the bucket and there's a piece of like ductwork or um, roofing or something that's came out beneath the Chevrolet part. I'll show you guys tomorrow night uh, when we're filming that, but we're gonna be getting that taken care of for the customers where we're gonna get that cleaned up and then we're gonna pull that out, cut it with a razor knife or somewhat, figure out what that is and get that out of there. So I wanted to update you on that as well. So we'll be having a bucket truck drop up there tomorrow just for that particular, we don't need it for the wash, but for that particular, to get in there to get it, we do need a bucket truck um, to get up in there safely and get that. So I'm gonna get the water going. We're gonna get that dumpster behind me clean and the grease clean. So we're here and we'll go ahead and hit this diesel too. We're not gonna leave it looking like this. We're gonna hit this diesel and get up around the base of the pump as well. Hit the garbage can and we'll knock all this out as well before we leave.
three, we got all of the dirt up grease that will come up. This right here is in the concrete. It will not come up. Concrete's coarse. It's got like that much depth to the grease. So we're only going to get the top layer up. We're able to get all this trash up. This was disgusting. Get all this trash up, everything cleaned all the way to the surface that will come up. You see, look a little close. That's in the concrete. Unfortunately, that won't come up without weakening the concrete, taking a couple layers off the top, which we don't want to do. So we're going to put the basket back in here. We're going to go to the back and we're going to work on the grease pit. And then we're going to work on the diesel. So let's get to the next. All right, guys. What I found that works out the best is a little bit of dome and sodium hydroxide. I take and I fill this bad boy up about halfway full and I dump it into my bucket that already has cold water in it. I put the water in first, then the soap, then the sodium hydroxide and I mix it slowly back and forth, try not to splatter. The more I mix, the thicker it gets and the warmer it gets. This, get, this is your best thing for grease right here. Alright guys, we've got the dumpster done, and now we've got the diesel wash. Now we're going to rinse it and go to the back so we can hit the grease um, box in the back of the store. So we're going to get this rinse and get to the third part of this job, and then we'll be to the next location. The last part of the job, we're going to rinse. We're going to get all of this dirty water off. Let me show you. This stuff right here, it's not gonna come up. Like I say over and over, concrete has holes in it and it goes down if it's not absorbed right away and it's just there until they scrape it up and repave it. But the new diesel, it's been almost gone. We got all of that up right there. So, we're gonna get rolled up and we're gonna get to the back of the store. Then we'll get to our second location of the day. Alright guys, we're on the third part of this job. It's the grease in the back. There's grease everywhere back here. We're going to get all of this up. First we're going to clean it up, then we're going to put our chemical down. We're going to surface clean it, and then we're going to rinse it. So we're not going to post treat because this is not organic. This is all grease matter and food and stuff like that. So we're going to treat it with the appropriate chemicals, which is sodium hydroxide and surfactant, which is dog. We're going to put it in. We may brush it a little bit to agitate it. We're going to hit it with the surface cleaner, come back and rinse. And then we out of here. Let's go.
as you can see right here, look at the difference it's already making without any hot water. Now we have two other trailers with hot water in them, but we didn't bring it today. We brought the commercial one, 10 gallon a minute, my two eight gallons of hot water units. One of them can actually push probably 12 to 15 or more gallons. It's a diesel Kubota, but nonetheless, we only brought our cold water unit right here today because it has our reclaim system so we can reclaim all the wastewater. This is how good it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and just strain it, cut this short, and I'll show you the finishing touches once we're done with it, all right? Guys, we were able to get all the grease up. It was freshly poured over here in these three parking spaces. This used to be just like this. We were able to get all that up. We were get able to get all the grease up that was able to come up. We got all this by the back door. This has been here for many, many years. That will not come up without tearing up concrete. We were able to get as much up as possible. We moved the ramp, got underneath it. Guys, the simple fix for this is when they spill the grease to clean it up, you know, but that don't happen. You know, it's hard enough to keep employees, much less get them to do the right thing. But so getting it treated right away is always the best answer. If you can get and train your employees to do that, does not, you know, get it up as soon as possible. So we used some really concentrated chemicals and we pretty much scrubbed it with 10 gallons a minute, 3,500 PSI. We hit it with the brush, then we hit it with a turbo nozzle. So with that being said, I can satisfy and we say the best, the best we can do. We will come back in a couple weeks and we're gonna hit the front. So when I come back, I'm gonna bring some hot water and reheat it again and probably let it set for like maybe an hour. So I'm getting rained on. I'm gonna get dry and get to the next job to get rained on again. So I'll see you then. I am at the second location. Uh, we just wrapped up that gas station. We did the dumpster, we did the diesel, and we did the grease around back. We also did the parking spaces um, and touched up some other areas that we seen while we were there. The rains kind of bogged us down a little bit. We just got through eating some Taco Bell and we're about to get out the truck and unwind the hoses and crank it up here and get started. So, uh, all right guys, we're at the next store and there's eight parts here we're gonna be doing. I'll show you right here. We've already got the chemicals down. We're going to be washing this with the surface cleaner and then we're going to come back. We're going to move the garbage cans, get all the spots, come back and rinse it and then get on.
we're done rinsing. We got it looking really good. We're going to wrap everything up and head to the next spot. As you can see, we got all of the island area washed. It was really severely dirty. We were able to get it super clean. We moved the garbage cans, got underneath them. Now we're going to roll it up and get to the next place. See you there. All right, guys, we were able to get it clean. As you can see, we got it looking spiffy. And we're on to the next one. What's up, guys? I am at job number three. It is um, 9 15 at night. I'm just starting this one. I'll probably be home sometime after midnight. Um, so, you know, we get about 14 hours a day easily. 15 hours, five days a week. So, you know, we get it in out here. But nonetheless, we're going to be doing this dumpster right here. Let me open up the side. I got my truck parked so I can see it. There's no lights out here. No lights out up there. But this one's not quite as bad as the other one. But we're going to be cleaning this dumpster back here in the back. There's trash on the ground. Uh, you really can't see it. But then we're also going to be cleaning over there. Those diesel islands. That's one, two, three, four, five pumps right there. It's diesel everywhere. We're going to be cleaning that diesel up. So we're going to hit this. We're going to hit the grease right here we're gonna get all the grease up right here in the grease spots and we're also gonna hit the dumpster i mean the uh the diesel over there so without further ado let me get my water in my tank and let's get the surface cleaner out get the chemicals down and get to it All right, guys, we got this thing cleaned up nice as it's gonna get. This was covered in grease back here. We got all the way down to the concrete. All this was black. Got the walls, got the dumpster, got the walls over here, all sides of the dumpster, the front, the gates came around here, got the grease up over here. This right here will not come up it is in there in the concrete so we got up what would come up out to here and uh, now we're gonna go over there and guys work I the can't dispenser. stress enough that when you do a dumpster when you do uh, grease spills and that you set the expectations right away in the beginning so they'll know that it's not gonna look brand new when you get done with it. there's no way it can look brand new unless you basically put new concrete down because once that grease and oil sets in the concrete and it's not treated, it's there, it's there for good. 
it goes down into the little tiny holes of the concrete and it absorbs and you're not going to get it out unless you remove the concrete so it's very important to set the standard of what you can do always do the best as you best you can do but let them know that you're not a miracle worker you're not going to be able to get everything up and that way they know that you did the best when the job's done so they're not expecting it to look brand new but uh if you use the right chemicals you can get all the grease up that will come up like we just did here so let's get to the diesel all right guys on the third job here we just did a dumpster and the grease in the back of the store and we're going to start doing the diesel albums look how black this is this is horrible this is horrible look how bad this is guys this is very very nasty look at this so they, it looks like somebody's put some some uh, stuff down to dry the diesel at least but it's really bad so we're going to get this up we're going to get it cleaned up and then we're going to get out of here probably going to be maybe one more job tonight if not we've already got three under our belt did three quotes two approved three jobs and maybe four jobs and into the house and then back up at it in the morning so let's get the equipment out and get started on this right here as you can see it is a complete and utter mess we're going to move these Really, really bad out here. Really, really bad. Wow. All right, guys, we've already done surface clean. We got all the diesel up and the oil and grease, whatnot. Now we're gonna take it off the ball valve and we're gonna rinse and get up out of here. And this is the end result. This was all black. We got that all up. We got underneath here. We got the dog bones, what we call the dog bone area. We got all this up, all this up, move the garbage can. We got all this over here. So all of the fresh grease, diesel and oil is up. So with that being said and that being done, we're out of here and I think we're going to call it a night. All right, guys, and it's a wrap. It is 1030. We've been going since 730 this morning. This is our third location done. We got all the diesel up, as you can see. Move the garbage cans. We got all the fresh diesel up at all five of these pumps. Garbage cans cleaned. So we're about to be out of here. And I think we're going to call it a night. We have a big day tomorrow, a big night tomorrow. We'll be out all day and all night tomorrow. We're going to be doing the dealership. We're going to be doing a house. We're going to be doing multiple gas stations. 
uh, and not counting the quotes we have going on. And who knows what else is going to land on the agenda for tomorrow, but that's just what we got so far. So we're going to call it a night at 1030, and uh, we'll be home in two hours. So we'll get to bed about one. See you guys tomorrow. We're going to get to the house, get some sleep. We'll probably get there uh, after midnight. We'll get to bed maybe around one, get back up around seven and get back at it. We'll be at it tomorrow all day long. We've got a dealership to do tomorrow night. we got a small house to do first thing in the morning. we got multiple gas stations to do. we got a canopy if we can get to it. So we got a big list for the rest of the week. And then I think the following week, we're going to go uh, to the cabin up in the mountains and get away for a week. Spend some quality time with the family. But uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. I hope you enjoyed. Um, you guys, I appreciate you following me today along this journey. If you're not subscribed here, please hit the subscribe. Thumbs up. It goes a long way. It helps the algorithm out. It's free and it really helps. Um, and also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Bulls Pressure Washing and all social media platforms. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Wash on.